Amen. Hey, today I want to talk, um, I want to talk about the name of God. I want to try to explain a few things about the name of uh, our Father that's in heaven. How many know that we, we serve a, um, a Jewish, um, well, our religion started in Jerusalem. How many know that? In Israel. Yeah, we, uh, it's, uh, some would say he's a Jewish God. Well, um, I think he's a God, uh, I don't know how Jewish he is, other than the fact that his name is Jewish. And, and, and uh, we're going to go through the name of God a little bit and, um, and just kind of put ourselves back in Israel, uh, maybe even 2,000 years ago, go through some scriptures and see how they pronounce the name of Jesus, amen? And we have, we use the name of Jesus, and it's okay, it's... Uh, it's a name that um, American, um, America has attached to identify who the Son of God is. Amen? And there's, there's still power in that name. There is power in the name of Jesus. But uh, we want to talk today about uh, the correct name of God and the correct name of Jesus. And um, what, is, what is that name? What is that name when those disciples went out uh, and they found out that in the name of the Son of God, Yahshua, Yahshua, that's the name that they use to cast out demons. Um, let me give you, let me give you a, a little bit of a background on Jesus. Jesus, the translation, it, it took over a thousand, uh, in, in, in um, 1,066, it took that long uh, for them to change Yahshua into Jesus into the English. You ever notice that uh, I was watching a, a baseball game and I see that one of, the, one of the players, his name was Jesus. And it's like almost blasphemy that he would have Jesus on the back of his, it, don't you kind of think, hey, you never, call, you never call your kid Jesus. That name is above every name that is named in heaven and earth. And there's some things you don't do. You don't name your kid Jesus. Okay, that's God's name. Everybody kind of agree with that? We kind of look at that. Well, actually, um, as you go on down, it was, in the, it was not until the fourth uh, century, which was 300 years after Jesus, Jesus uh, died, that the, the name started changing a little bit. And they started translating it a little bit different. And... and um, in, uh, in Latin, in, in uh, some years uh, after that, after 300 A.D., um, it changed. It was translated by the Latin as uh, I-E-S-U, and that's how they translated it. And then it went into um, um, Middle Engl Eng English, which was J-E-S-U-S, -S, and, um, and that's, that's where it came about in... A uh, thousand zero sixty six, um, and and so you'd say, well, what is the correct translation of of our God? And it's okay that you use Jesus. It's okay that you use Jesus. Jesus works. I've cast a lot of demons out in the name of Jesus. It identifies who the Son of God is. We identify it that way. God knows when you come to Him in the name of Jesus. He knows that you mean. Yeshua. That's who he knows. The Jewish God named Yeshua. Okay? So you're okay still to use the name of Jesus. And, um, but I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today, just slightly, about the name of Yeshua. And um, that it is, it is fine that you use it, but I want, to, I want to say this, that as we go into the scriptures and we, and we talk about the name of Yahshua, let us think about the name of Yahweh, his father. Amen? And uh, uh, in Jeremiah, Jeremiah twelve sixteen, it says, It shall come to pass, if they will diligently learn the ways of my people, to swear by my name. And then it says, The Lord liveth. That's capital L, capital O, capital R, D. Whenever you see that, that's translated Yahshua. Mm -hmm. 
as they taught my people to swear by Baal, to swear by the name of Baal, he says, then shall they be built in the midst of my people, but if they will not obey, okay, then there's utter destruction. But it says, swear by the name. You know, and the name means a lot. A name, a name does mean a lot. I mean, it is right that we try to use the right name of God, right? Yahweh. Yahweh is the name of the Father. Yahweh, his name forever. Now we call him Heavenly Father, and that, that's, a, that's good. That's good, our Father. But if you want to go to the Jewish, what did Jesus call him? He called him Yahweh. His name is Yahweh forever. Amen? It's kind of it's weird for us Christians in, in, in the U.S. to be, well, what's this Jewish stuff? You serve a Jewish religion is what you serve. You, you, all your information comes from Israel. Israel, Jewish. Amen? It, it all comes from there. You serve, you serve, you work in a Jewish religion. And you know, it's like, well, we don't know anything about Jew, the Jewish name of God or, or, or the name of God. We just, we're kind of like here, you know, and Okay, and we, we've, we've employed a lot of English ways. I mean, Jesus of Nazareth. How many know that he talked with an English accent? <laughs> it's in the movie, <laughs> you know. And, uh, but anyway, anyway, I want to, uh, Yahweh. So whenever you see the, the capital L, capital O, capital R, uh, and D, that's identifying uh, the heavenly father and we we know that like let's go into acts and i just wanted to pull a couple things out here in acts chapter 2 uh verse 34 and the lord said unto my lord now if you know you know that in 34 actually um 234 the lord capital o r d that's yahweh said unto my lord yeshua sit thou at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Capital O, capital R, capital D, O-R-D, Lord, Yahweh. See, it's translated Lord. And you know why they translated it like that? And the King James did that? Because they considered the name of Yahweh to be so holy that they were afraid that the common man would blemish the name. They wouldn't treat it holy. Think about it. The, the, the commandment is, never take the Lord thy God's name in vain. Don't take the Lord's God, his name in vain. Don't make it common. Don't make it cliche. Oh God. I know Christians that say that. For the God's sakes. Well, the, That's kind of blasphemy a little bit that's taking his name in vain because you don't you're not saying anything about God you're just using it as a cliche you know we know that using the name of God and then putting damn on the end it's like wow that's so wrong it is wrong it is wrong Sometimes it, it is wrong that you would take the name of our heavenly father and just kind of attach a different name to it. Just attach a different name. You ever hear people say, the big guy? Me and the big guy upstairs, had, we had a relationship. So it's like, if you had a relationship, you would never identify him as the big guy. As the big guy. You had, would identify him as your Lord, your God, Yahweh. And that name is holy. Now, if you say, well, how, how holy is that name? Jesus said it in, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. And in this manner pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, holy is thy name. Holy is a name. What is his name? What is his name? Lord? There's a lot of lords, isn't through the earth, Right? There's lords in England and everything. Lord is not a name. It identifies who he actually is. But what is his, his name? Yahweh. 
That's your heavenly father. That's who he called himself, Yahweh. Okay? Holy is that name. So when you see capital O-R-D, you know that they translate it like that because they were afraid because the name is so holy that you would misuse it and you would talk it in vain. So they translate it like that. Well, you never knew that, did you? Nobody ever told us that. Well, you're being told today. So it's good that when you go in the name of Yeshua to Yahweh. Yah, Y-A-H, both of them, Y-A-H, means deity, means God. Jesus, God, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Y-H, the Heavenly Father, Y-H, Jesus. That's how their names start off, identifying themselves as God. So, when you come to God and you quote the, the prayer that Jesus said, remember how holy that name is. And if you, if you reverence that name, then use that name, Yahweh. Wow, that's so hard for me. I know, I know. We're under a Jewish religion. <laughs> and that's how, he, that's how he came across. But it's for every man. Now, Jesus, the name that is given above every name that is named. He's been given a name above every name that is named in heaven and earth. Wouldn't you like to know the right name? Wouldn't you like to really say the right name? Now, you identify him, and it still works. But wouldn't you like to know, all right, what is his name? Yeshua. Yeshua. And so if you use the name Yeshua, you're okay. If you use the name of Jesus, you're okay. It still identifies. It still gets the job done. People get born again by using the name of Jesus. But I, I just want to show you something here today. You say, wow, I have to work on that name a while. I have to work on it. It's all right. It's all right. But that's his, that's his name. That's his name. Now we attach Jesus to, to our Lord, but Christ, how many know what Christ means? We think this is his last name, like Jim Legner, Legner. How many think, what's Christ mean? Anybody know? The anointed one. Now we thought it was the last name of his family. Joseph Christ. Mary Christ. No, it wasn't at all. Christ means anointed one. So when you say Yeshua, Christ, or the anointed one of Nazareth, you're identifying where he come from, who he is. He is anointed one from God, and his name is Yeshua. And you shall call his name, the angel said to Mary, Yeshua. Like Yahweh, Yeshua. His father's name, he's named, just a little bit different, but his name is named from heaven. Amen? That name that is above every name that is named, okay? What you do when you say Jesus, you're identifying who he, all that is that I just said. That's why demons are still subject, because you're identifying who Yahshua is by saying Jesus, okay? You hearing me? You hearing me? So that's why you still can get, you can still get to heaven in the name of Jesus, but Christ, the anointed one. That's why you see what Paul even translated different times. Paul said, Christ, Yeshua, which that's how Paul did it. But then it was translated from the King James into Jesus, Christ, Jesus, the anointed one, Jesus, the anointed one, Yeshua. Amen. So when the disciples went out and they were, they were casting out devils and they came back and it says, even the demons are subject to your name, Lord. Even they are subject to it. We are casting them out. And how many know what name they were, were using? Yeshua. In the name of Yeshua, the Son of God. And the demon said, we're out of here. Because that name holds all the power and authority of heaven and earth. All the power and authority of heaven and earth. 
Now, when you say Jesus, I mean, you look up, you look up your name. You look up your name. Has anybody ever looked up their name and says, what does it mean? What does it mean? Yes. You find out that it means something. If you look up Jesus, you'll find out that you got to go to the Hebrew name to find out what that name means. You got to go to the Hebrew name, Yahshua, to find out what that name means. Jesse, his name means gift. He was talking about that last night, gift and wealth. My name, James, means, and it all means something, and I don't know how they come up with the meaning, but there is a technical way they do that. It, it, it's bearer of light, okay? So if you hear your brother say, in the name of Yeshua, don't look down on him. Don't look down on him for doing it, because it's okay because that's his name okay Yeshua Yeshua was Joshua's name it means savior Yah Shua is derived from God Yahweh and it means savior amen so when Peter said Silver and gold I have none, but such that I have I give thee in the name of Yeshua. Rise up and walk in the name of Yeshua. I just want you to see this. We'll just kind of go through some scriptures and see how they said it back then, okay? They said it back then. Peter didn't say Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He said in the name of Yeshua, Okay? And, and when you translate something, you know, like if you, uh, Spanish, uh, Juan is John here, right? Well, when you translate Yeshua, you, you don't come up with Jesus, okay? So down through the ages, it was somewhat lost, the correct spelling of it. But you're identifying the Son of God, so you're still okay, okay? You're still all right, all right? So we understand that. So... You don't put somebody down that says in the name of Jesus because they still get to God. And you don't put somebody down that says Yahshua because they're still getting to God. Amen? And you don't put somebody down that says Yahweh because God says that's his name and that's his name forever. Amen? Yahweh. Wouldn't you like to know? And Peter, uh, uh, Moses said to God, he says, who shall I say that sent me? But to want to know your name. <laughs> Well, his name is Yahweh. Amen. And you know what God says? I am that I am. <laughs> I'm still not telling you. But anyway, he does reveal his name, Yahweh. Okay? So. Anyway, I, I just wanted to talk about this. All right. In Matthew 16, 9, 19, it says... Um, and this is a sign of them. He said, baptize in them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 16, I believe it's 1619. Um, no, 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 no. It isn't 1619. Uh, it is uh, 2819. Go therefore in teaching all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. What is the name of the Father? Yeah, Yahweh. That's the name of the Father. What's the name of the Son? Yahshua. You're still okay with Jesus. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> you know, don't rock my boat. Well, I th it's okay to know, you know, the correct name. It's all right. It's all right. But if you're going to baptize him, which we baptize, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, notice that I said, and in the name of Jesus, by the authority of Jesus, by the authority of the Son of God. Amen? Yeshua. Y-A-H-S-H-A-U. All right. And, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. That's how he's identified. Amen? but the name of the Father. You know, some things we, we say and we never really think about. In the name of the Father. In the name of my Father. Somebody was going to introduce you and say, I want you to do this in the name of my Father. And everybody would look and say, 
which is, well, surely you know. <laughs> Say, well, no, I don't know your father. I don't know his name. Well, just do it anyway in the name of my father. <laughs> well, in the name of his father, <laughs> whatever that may be, I will do this or I will do that. That sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? And we never even think about those things when we're praying or whatever. Now, you can get to the Father, calling him Heavenly Father. You're identifying who he is, same way with Jesus. Amen? This is how it went. It says, the devil said in Mark 1, 23, he says, and the devil said, we know who thou art. You know what they said? They actually said, Yah, you're, the, you're Yahshua, the Holy One of God. Like Yahweh, you're Yahshua, you're the Son of God. Part of your name is like the Heavenly Father. We know who you are. You're Yahshua. That's what they said. Mark 16, 17, it said, and they will cast out demons in my name, in my name, amen? And back then, they would say, Yeshua. So if you ever played the role and you put on the, the old clothes, you would have to learn that name if you were gonna say it right, amen? And, and in Luke 10, 17, and they came back, like I said before, he said, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And the name means a lot. Name means, and name is important, wouldn't you say? Let me tell you this. Um, I had, a, I had a, um, a neighbor that we went over and we bailed hay for him and this and that. And we, grew, we grew up and we had several men. And his name was Buddy. I was astounded when I found out his real name was Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy was a nickname. I thought his real name was Buddy. It wasn't Buddy at all. Well, Harry, why don't we call him Harry the way it is? Well, Harry was his dad, and they didn't want to get it confused. So they called him Buddy and his dad Harry. He'll always be buddy to me. <laughs> Amen. Isn't that funny how we do things? We just attach names to some to identify people. And I, you still, I still was able to get to him. He still answered me when I said, buddy. He didn't say, who are you talking to? My name is Harry. <laughs> Don't you ever feel kind of funny when you say, when you call somebody bud and you forget their name? And you, oh, I would give anything to remember their name. And you go, hi, how you doing? And or us guys would say, hi, bud, how you doing? And you think, golly, I just can't remember his name. You give anything to remember his name. Why? Why? Say, this is how I identify you, bud. Everybody's bud to me. <laughs> <laughs> so we... we uh, so it's not wrong to use the correct name of Jesus is what I'm saying. It's, it's probably a good thing because when you're going to cast out devils or you're going you're gonna to tell Satan he's got to leave in the name of Yeshua, he, he understands that one really clear. He understands Hebrew. Amen? We, we serve a God that it was identified with the Hebrew people because they were just a small people and he was going to show himself strong. So he wrapped himself around their culture, around their language, and said, okay, guys, let's show the world that nobody can defeat us or defeat you because I'm your God. And he made a covenant with that country. And they were the only ones that had a covenant with God that went to heaven. Everybody else was without a savior, without a covenant with God. But that little sliver of land, those people had a covenant with God Almighty. And whenever they strayed from that covenant by, their, by Almighty God, 
Yahweh, they fell into to total destruction. That's why there was six million Jews killed, even more than that. But nobody was able and is able to destroy that people. God always saves a remnant, if nothing else. And God today is on the grand finale. He's going to show himself strong to the Jewish people again. And they're going to come back and they're going to identify our Jesus Christ as Yeshua, the anointed one of Nazareth. And they're going to hold on to that name and that, that Jesus that we call him, which is okay. And that's how Jesus is going to come back to the valley of Armageddon. And he's going to save his brothers. He's going to save his people. He's going to save them. Amen. We're, and so if you don't know this Jesus, Yeshua, the son of the living God, if you don't know him, you need to know him. You need to know him because he's going to rule from Jerusalem one day. And all the nations of the earth shall give him homage. You need to know him. You need to fall on your knees and say, Jesus, come into my heart and forgive me of my sins. Stay tuned. Pastor Legner will be right back with the conclusion of today's message. Well, praise the Lord. I'm glad you tuned in today. You know, we were talking today about uh, the name of God and, and Moses, you know, said, who, who shall I say sent me that? And they'll want to know what your name is. And, and of course, God says, my name, I am that I am. But I, God did reveal his name, that his name is Yahweh. And uh, it always be Yahweh. And, uh, and so there we are talking about that a little bit. Now, you can identify your Heavenly Father by just what it is now that Jesus is coming into your life, which Yahshua, that we say Yahshua, the name that is above every name that is named in heaven and earth, that takes you to Yahweh, your Heavenly Father. And so if you, if you say Yahweh, it's okay. If you say my Heavenly Father, uh, that still gets you now because of Jesus, he's your Father. He is your heavenly father. So we were just teaching on the names today, and I just want you to, to be at ease with it, that, uh, that uh, you know, if you hear somebody say Yahshua, uh, identify in uh, Yahshua, the son of God, which is Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus, the anointed one, uh, that's okay. It's okay because it is the correct Hebrew name. And uh, you say, well, what name should I use? You can use the name of Jesus, or you can use the name of uh, Yahshua. Uh, both um, Yahshua is actually the, the correct Hebrew name, and, and it, it works. It works. So I just want to, uh, you know, teach you a little something today, let you be at peace about it. And, uh, but, you know, when you go to the Father, your Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you're, you're, you, Jesus is, is the Son of God. Jesus, you're identifying Jesus, Jesus, uh, the Son of God, by saying the name Jesus. So anyway, be at peace. God bless you. Have a good week. In the name of Yeshua.